Exactly. Everyone, I have the honor and the privilege of the company of Robert Rossitano today, who has created a brand, well, going to your wealth of experience, but obviously we're here to talk about Fan Pass Live, which is a new app and a new website and a new, basically it was a whole platform really, isn't it, to connect artists uh, and give them more freedom, uh, I believe, over there, over everything. Uh, <laughs> because there's, there's a few platforms out there at the moment, but obviously I think they're not as a lot of artists are getting a bit fed up from what I understand, you know, from when you see in the media and things like that. So I think you've, you've come in and stepped in and brought that into that a niche um, platform for them to come to and, and spread the word and get closer to fans as well. So, yeah. <clears throat> so welcome, Robert. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. And, and you mentioned freedom. It, you know, it also goes uh, hand in hand with control and, and artists like to have control these days. And, and that's really what Fan Pass is all about. So thanks for having me. Uh, happy to uh, be here and looking forward to discussing, you know, our platform, our app, and really everything about what we offer the artists and the fans. Excellent, excellent. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try at one point through to actually show the app as we talk about it. I've, I mentioned this sure. before. It'll be a first for me on Zoom as a recording. So if it fails, I'll just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> You, no, you no, have no, really wiser. Oh, yeah, I have the power. <laughs> you have the power. <laughs> Excellent. So, I mean, Robert, yourself, I mean, you are, you've got so many years what, of, 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 of just experience in, in starting out in the internet industry right back from the very beginning of Silicon Valley. You've been entrepreneur and a CEO. I mean, right back to 1993. I was back at uni. No, I was going to uni, preparing to go back then. And, and you, you were, you've uh, done uh, your homework. <laughs> <laughs> and you were cutting up the Silicon Valley at that time. So how long have you had an idea like this, like Fan Pass Live? How long has that been brewing in that mind of yours? How did you? Great, great question, Chris. I mean, it's really been a, uh, a passion of ours for a long time. And I say ours because my brother and I have been partners for Almost 30 years now, believe it or not. And uh, he was a touring musician himself, even back in his high mm -hmm. school days. And, you know, we were able to go to L.A. and watch him perform at the Roxy and the, and the Whiskey on Sunset Strip when he was only a teenager. So we've had uh, a lot of ideas around music and distributing music and how to elevate indie artists in general. But this particular idea was really born in uh, the early 2000s. And as we came out of... Uh, one of our dot-com ventures, we, we partnered with a, a pretty significant name in the music industry, and we started recording bands in his studio in San Francisco and archiving those bands on a website to allow bands to invite their fans, their friends, their family, the neighborhood, so to speak, to go to the website, mm -hmm. download or actually view a, a pretty choppy video at the time because <laughs> bandwidth and technology yeah. just weren't there. And then uh, vote. Take a vote on who, who's their favorite band. Buy a hat. Buy a t-shirt. Really, you know, back then we were trying to elevate the careers of these indie artists, not only giving them exposure, but a way to earn using, utilizing mm -hmm. the Internet. So, you know, we've had various experiences and technology and dial-up Internet from its infancy, but it's, it's really always been about you know, entertainment, music, educating, whether it's an artist or a fan and, and trying to provide technology and services that, that allow them to do that and have freedom and control, as you mentioned in the intro. Fantastic. It sounds great. And I mean, you're right. You know, that sounds, the fact that you were back in 2000 providing sort of platform. I mean, I remember the early days of the internet, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 10, 46 at the weekend. So I'm, I'm right there. I remember when it started. And, uh, I still got that. you. I'm 52. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, makes you feel better. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, you've sure got, you've got you, you, you know, you've got the old dial up. And I remember, you know, I can imagine how frustrating it was to be when obviously you're trying to provide something when you have to wait three or four hours to download maybe 20 kilobytes. <laughs> you know, that's the old days. So I guess technology has moved on. As like you said, it's really allowed you to to expand your horizons um, as a partnership as well and provide. I say every, the whole world is about apps now, uh, whether you're Android, you're Apple, whether you're you know, on your phone, whatever, on the computer, everything's about apps. And I think technology in the past 20 years really has bounded on so much um, that, you know, 
to stay like yourself and, and push yourself to the limits and the forefront, basically, of that technology and keep developing is something fantastic. And to say to bring that freedom to artists is, is something that's, that's always been there as a need. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Chris. I mean, it's, I mean not only having the, the hardware being so advanced now and, and the mobile technology readily available, Wi-Fi is, is even a bigger component where the content consumption is, is continuous now. And the appetite for content, especially in music fans, it's there 24 seven. So, you know, we, we, we noticed a long time ago and, and it blew us away at the time and it still does today. You have American Idol, you have The Voice, you have other audition type platforms that are, that really, they, they launch mega stars and mega careers out of nowhere. But the fact is, is that when they put an audition schedule together and they have the tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands show up to audition. Did you know that typically less than 5% of the people that show up even get to audition? That's a, wow. that's a big amount of talent just swept right off the table. Mm -hmm. And they're looking for an outlet. They're looking for a place to send their friends and family and build that audience. And if they don't have access to a record label or if they're, if that is a bad word to them, which a lot of artists today it is, we're providing that platform that it's not only a streaming platform. It's a platform that's basically a, a lifestyle. They can share their everyday life. They can perform. They can earn. And earning comes in several forms on our website and our mobile apps. We create merchandise. We share revenue, drop ship for them. They can sell tickets to a live performance, schedule the event. Our team's here to help them design and promote. You know, there's just, there's several different things that we offer and many more to come. And it's exciting to have artists and fans really embracing the platform as we really get on our feet and start expanding our services. That really does sound fantastic. As you say, to boost boost artists up as well. Um, I mean, I, I was kind of aware of, we've got the, it's not the X Factor, no, it's the X Factor. It's one of those shows we've got over here. And I know my son's old drum, one of them. Yeah, my son's old drum teacher actually auditioned for that. He was, a, he was in the band and he did mention the fact that there were so many people just going to the audition and they just, all the, all the actually, it was the producers already knew who they wanted to begin with. So like you say, all thousands of people turn up and they're never going to get that chance. And some of them, like you said, they've gone away and they've come back. So uh, and their talent is, they've either given up because they just think that's it. Um, so to then have something like Fan App there so they can turn around and say, well, actually, no, let's push it out. Let's start using, you know, this app and, and bring off, you know, as, you, as you've just explained, you know, bring your fan base through, bring our own fan base, our family, spread the word. And then that music goes worldwide. Then, and then, yeah, I can, I can really see how this would work well and reach those people who may not necessarily have had that shot uh, before, as well as sure. those who obviously us who were already, already there and they want to share as well. And, and, and we are fan pass, but I, I know you mentioned, you just said fan app, and we are kind of a fan app at the same time. And, and, and having, having that mobile app, it allows the artist to take us with them. Take us with, the, with you backstage. Give the fans yeah. something that they typically don't see unless they're buying that meet and greet or a backstage pass. And a lot of fans are geographically challenged. They're not in the location that the artist is performing. Maybe the artist is performing from their basement, their home stage, and maybe it's an exclusive event. I mean, what an opportunity to have your fans be able to log in, see that exclusive behind the scenes content, mm -hmm. all the while, they're paying fan pass $2.99 a month on a monthly subscription and 40 up to 40% of that $2.99 is going back to the artists every month. So they're building a recurring revenue stream for themselves on our platform, along with the other selling merchandise, selling tickets and the earnings keep stacking. So that's one of the unique things that, you know, we like our fans to know. Mm -hmm. then when they're discovering new artists and new music and they can absolutely come in for free, we offer a free trial and they can take a look at all the artists, all the content. But when they think about paying us that 299, 
we really want to make it clear that that two ninety nine, a big portion of that, those dollars are going to support the indie artist that they are coming to FanCast for. So, yeah. so I think we we have a unique proposition for both sides. That does sound great, and I say it's great to hear that so much of it does go to the artist as well, because obviously. <clears throat> there are other platforms out there, but that's where a lot of controversy comes from in the fact that the artists don't actually get to see that, um, you know, that income at all. And it's, you know, I'm not going to name names because I'll probably get into a libel suit if someone, if someone's, you know. <laughs> we don't need to do that. We don't need to give anyone else attention right now, right? Oh, no, exactly. This is just a fan pass. But yeah, they're, they're the ones out there who just had that. You can see where it's coming from. So, so yeah, you've definitely, the fan pass is, is coming. Um, uh, and give it such an opportunity and like you say boosting those people up because the guys if they're getting the funds in as well from the subscribers each month then it gives them a little bit it gives them more incentive as well because they realize they are actually people are actually out there wanting to pay and wanting to pay to see them and wanting to pay the you know for their content that they're producing absolutely and the other the other option of that is if an artist sets up an event on a weekday a weekend and it happens to be an hour long, two hour long event. Maybe it's them, maybe it's them and another artist. They can ticket that event. They keep 100% of that ticket sale price mm -hmm. or they can offer it up free to all fan subscribers. So if the subscribers are paying $2.99, they can perform for free to all subscribers. They can have an exclusive ticketed event and they can have a little bit of a combination of both because yeah. the ticket is... The ticketed event allows you to have that exclusive one-off and then two weeks, 30 days, maybe 60 days, we put it up on the site and in the app as an on-demand and it's, a, it's there as an archived event that all the fans can see. But for a limited time, they either had to pay for the ticket for that exclusive event or they're waiting a month or two to see it on an on-demand basis. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. And I've actually seen that because I've logged into the app. I've not got... But this, I've, purely for the fact that I was going to try and share it. I've not put my credit card on because I thought, because I've got my password, people are going to see, because I've got, when I do it on Zoom, I've got to enter my password and I thought, if I do that, <laughs> just, but yeah, I've, so I have seen the app and it's uh, the fan path, the website I've gone to, uh, and it's, right. it's this, there is a, you know, there's a lot of content on there. There really is. And I love the way you can choose your musical genre as a fan. That is obviously from my side of things of logging in as a fan, you can choose which genre you love and which, and obviously then it will select and tailor that because uh, I've got to say yeah, I admit country uh, and again this is you know the, the fact that I'm geographically misplaced for most country music <laughs> <laughs> you know to be able to get onto fan pass and see new bands and, and, and artists upcoming is great from that perspective because I just love progressive country I just you know, absolutely adore this stuff it's, 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 to me it's I'm an old school so I actually like understanding the lyrics and the words of, of songs right, <laughs> so, right. And <obviously, laughs> so yeah um, and not, and not, not, to di not to digress, but we never touched on, you said your, your son's drum teacher auditioned, correct? He did, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So did he tell you anything about how far he got or was it one audition and out? I think it was one audition and out. They didn't get, they didn't get very far <laughs> at all. They're a really good band. They do Beatles covers and stuff, but yeah, they, they were a really good band. But uh, unfortunately, so yeah, they didn't sounds like you have a. Sounds like you have a lead for us. I expect you to send that I do, over. yeah. <laughs> I shall. I shall. I'll contact him. Okay, great. I'll get my son in touch as well. He's um, grade five now, drums, grade three, trumpet. He plays the guitar. He's a, he's a regular little one man band he's turning into. <laughs> yeah, one man band for sure. That's great. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as I say, yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, Mike, those those people I did know didn't get very far in that in that concert. But never mind. <laughs> uh, but it's great to say, I say, fam, it's there's such a variety of music, and it's I mean, he's even opera on there as well. So no matter what your music taste, you'll be able to find it on Fan Pass quite easily, uh, as well as a fan listening in. And um, I mean, how many artists do you have? Can, do we know how many artists you've got at the moment signed up? Off the top at of the your moment, head? we we launched the app uh, July. 24th of 2020 mm -hmm. with a total of 16 artists. And right. since that time, we've uh, grown to over 6,000 and we have wow. uh, quite a few things in the works. Uh, and we think that that number is going to rise tremendously uh, very shortly, but we're hard at work over here. We're adding new features or adding new services. 
Mm-hmm. There's always things that we can do and, and really we're, we're learning from our artists. I mean, what, what makes sense? What doesn't make sense? Is there things that we need to take away or add? Mm-hmm. Fans or artists, we're always looking for that community feedback and, and we seem to be getting it on a regular basis, which is it's creating a, an app that's constantly being iterated and it's, it's always evolving and getting better. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm a guess all this COVID that we've had for the past two years has actually probably helped fan passing away as well. And artists, because artists are coming to you and like you've just, we, we talked about before, you can, you know, they can put on events and their own concerts from their own garage, you know, if they needed to from their own private studio uh, and still get their music out and still get these concerts going for people to listen to. So regardless of whether you're in lockdown or you, you can't go out anywhere because of COVID restrictions, etc., people, they still can reach their fans and fans can still listen in. And, and reach out to you know to their favorite artists and, and, and enjoy the music and enjoy the live atmosphere, so to speak. No, absolutely, Chris. It's uh, it's been a silver lining in that respect. And believe it or not, two years prior to COVID, we were working with Jennifer Lopez and other artists on the concept of fan pass becoming. Mm-hmm a backstage live stream app so that the fans had access to that exclusive backstage content and experience. Oh, nice. And as we got closer to releasing our first beta, mm-hmm. the, the pandemic was upon us and pretty soon everyone was locked down and there was no live event to be had. So there was no <laughs> backstage, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so we decided very quickly that we need to, needed to expand our approach and our app and our platform needed to become the virtual stage. Mm-hmm. And it needed to, to have a wrapper with various different services and components that would allow those artists to not only, as you said, perform from home, but engage an audience on a different level take us on their daily lives on an exclusive, uh, maybe a new song they're promoting or something they want to kind of get some feedback from their fans on mm-hmm. and, and really bring it out as a, as a platform and now moving it more into a, a music lifestyle type of an app for, for friends and artists. No, oh, fantastic. And so, yeah, so yeah, you're right. So um, yeah, so one sided aspect, it's, it's sad because you can't, you know, you've not been able to, explore that backstage but yeah like you say the silver lining is it's boosted it in completely different direction evolved uh with well evolved with 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 current situations that are going on which is fantastic you know it's a great uh like you said entrepreneurial skills that you have and you you know you and your brother have got to actually be able to to utilize and rather than just fade away just utilize what you've got and and turn uh, a challenge into success absolutely i mean i think one of the one of the things that has come out of this that's tremendous for all of us in this environment is that it's brought the, the world of Zoom or video to the forefront. And it, it really allowed us to have a, a voice and a position in a marketplace that didn't really exist mm-hmm. before the pandemic took hold. And that's kind of the, the interesting, it's, it's the, the sad side of of a situation but again it is that silver lining for our business we lost uh, unfortunately a lot of people and hopefully it didn't affect you or your family personally um it didn't mind a few people got sick but that's about it knock on wood <laughs> and as we uh, are now looking at more live venues and opportunities to bring the app backstage and and elevate that backstage content I think we're going to have a real opportunity to share those backstage and exclusive experiences from an artist to a fan and then start sending social influencers back there as broadcasters on our behalf and have a fan pass broadcaster behind the scenes Mm -hmm. as that fly on the wall capturing content that you otherwise wouldn't see. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, great need to be able to say like social influencers seem to be very much the, the the big way to sort of promote everything at the moment so yeah it's a fan, that's a really really 
interesting concept for you to be able to utilize and again utilize whatever strengths you can find out there to, to move that on uh when you mentioned covid by the way so my wife and my son both had it in la last month they're, they're fine they're, they've just got long covid now so um not thankfully lost anyone but i know a few people who have which like you like yourself is you know there's a lot of people who lost with that with that um, awful illness but yeah they've had it they're still coughing. They're still <laughs> spluttering away. Well, I'm happy they came out on the other side. Of, in a oh, yeah. Way. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, going back to the music, um, I was, you know, I'm just sorry, it's nothing to do with fan pass. I'm Because I'm looking at your guitars, and I know you said your brother played as well. Do you, do you play yourself? Do you have? I wish I could say that I did. I, <laughs> I, I do not. <laughs> Excuse me. It was always uh, coming up. It was It was my brother playing the keyboards mm -hmm. it was our cousin as the lead singer and they had you know the bass and the guitar and the drummer were all high school buddies as well so i felt like i was part of the band mm -hmm. yet i didn't play an instrument and i was uh, I was kind of that that quasi manager to make sure that uh, everything was lined up and prepared and you know i arranged uh, the bouncers at private parties and things like that but i was always involved but did never never did play an instrument. A few guitar lessons here and there, but <laughs> couldn't couldn't stick with it. No, no, it's fine. I just thought I'd ask to sort it through there. So <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm gonna quickly, while I ask you the next few questions about how people can sign up, I'm gonna see if this works, Robert. I'm gonna try. <laughs> well, let's uh, make sure that if it doesn't work, it's it's on you, not the app, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> nothing to do with fan pass. It, it's purely me and my my only I'm kidding, IT for, only kidding. I know, I've worked in IT for 20 odd years and I still can't Technology get things right. Technology is never perfect. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. So you're on the, uh, you're I'm, on the, I'm on the main page. Live home yeah. page. So if I logged really in now. Dropping us into the app and dropping us into the community <laughs> or the music genres, uh, that's what everybody should see. Yeah, definitely. So, so if I log into mine. Quick view. Quick view yeah, through, I, the, I, through the website. Yeah, if I just quickly log in now and I'll show what it looks like. And being as a fan here now, we've got these details here. We could just log in. So if people just bear with me. Oops. This is where I get this wrong again now. Okay. Oops. Ah, see, told you. <laughs> Okay. I should try. We and have there a we winner. <clears throat> well, hey, there we go. So this is obviously what you look at as a fan. You'd look, uh, you'd come into, um, and say it's the same as mine. It's, it's select as well, doesn't it? Because when you log in and you register, you can choose. Like I said before, you can choose your music genre. So it'll then select artists based on what you've chosen as, as the primary ones you see. Absolutely, you can follow <laughs> certain artists, and obviously, you're going to get a different. Uh, a different UI, uh, UX experience mm -hmm. on, on a mobile device. But this is the, uh, the website. You're, you're logged in as a fan right now, and that is correct, Chris. Excellent, excellent. And I'm not going to yeah, stream people's music for now, but here, as I say, I can say the <laughs> options we talk. It's just, I don't want to you know, give people, let people log in and, they can, and find out for themselves. But obviously here was what we mentioned as well before, I think. So if you're a subscriber, you can watch this event for free. If you subscribe to FanPass yourself, so set this one up obviously for, for subscribers um, in there. And I think this one here, unlock with 30 tickets. So I guess that's one you have you pay extra um, to, to log in. Is that correct? Yes, that's a ticketed event. And uh, we offer a virtual currency or ticket packs. So the fan can actually purchase a ticket pack and they can use tickets to unlock events or content. Or they can actually use the tickets to tip an artist during a performance. Oh, wow, fantastic. That's great. And as I say, there are so many artists on it. I, was, I do have, I've been scrolling through, so I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm right, and, definitely going and, through and all the different you, ones. Sorry to interrupt, Chris, but as no, you're no, scrolling please. and you and you see the artist content and the different artist representations, each artist has a profile, of course, and mm -hmm. they also have, they also, from the artist side, they have their own artist dashboard. So, they have a feature which you cannot see as a fan, but right. that artist artist dashboard will will show them, 
you know, what they've earned in tips, how many, how many hats or t-shirts or merch sales they have, mm -hmm. how much money they're generating on content views for the, for the subscription revenue every month. So they're up to date in real time of what's going on and how their earnings are, are stacking up on fan pass as they continue to add content or perform on the, on the site or the app. That's fantastic. That really is good. And I say that it's really clear and, and, um, Easy to follow and easy to move around. Obviously, this is this Thank chap's you. Um, <laughs> profile page. Like you said, just <laughs> click on there so you can see all the music down there as well. Uh, and yeah, I mean, to sign on as an artist as well, I presume it's a very similar sort of step. There's a few extra things that they probably need to do if you're an artist themselves and they want to sign up for the to fan pass. Yes, when we onboard an artist, uh, you know, we ask them for any approved content. If they have images that they like to represent themselves by, or if they have a logo or any of that creative, we intake that in the initial onboarding process. And then we offer them the ability to, uh, you know, purchase fee-based services. And these are, you know, fee-based services that are under $10, but, you know, it gives them additional analytics. It'll give them a merch design or a, an exclusive merch design, set up their e-commerce storefront and let them start selling merch right away. We offer pro services that allows them, they can buy screens and lighting and microphones, anything that will help them as an artist, mm -hmm. FanPass is here, here to provide. Whether it's free or a fee-based service, we have a, a wide variety of options uh, on both sides. <clears throat> That's really, really good. And it's something, again, it's very unique to you. Uh, and FanPass does that, I think, in, in helping. It's because you're not just providing the platform there. You're actually, you, you are, you're, you're physically um, and going out there and, and helping them develop themselves as well. So, you, you know, it's not just, you look unlike some, actually, again, I might mention probably just in it for themselves to, to make loads of money. You are there to purely, you really want to develop these, um, these artists and, and help them to develop themselves and to push themselves further and to, to make that break that they need and, and to reach people. And it sounds, it does sound really, really, um, very, it is a unique and fascinating concept to do. Uh, it's one that I, I've not come across this kind of concept before where you do that, where you are that. Uh, Thank you, Chris. That, in hand that, in that hand. I'm our... trying to think of the words, Robert. <laughs> yeah, to hand no, in hand but... with the artist. Yeah. That was, that was our goal. I mean, Everyone's seen Facebook Live or Instagram Live, and the ability to pop up a live stream is, is not unique. Mm -hmm. But the unique aspect of what we do is, is we're, we've become an artist partner. And, and being an artist partner means that we need to elevate their career every which way we can. And again, going digressing back to the beginning of, of, our, of the podcast, allow the artist that freedom and allow mm -hmm. them to maintain control. And let's start launching careers from our platform, our, our music lifestyle app, wh whatever you want to call it. We are an artist-centric platform, mobile app, and service-focused business that's here for the artist and for the fan. And, you know, we're learning something new every day, and we try to bring that into the product that we're making available to the artists and the fans. Definitely, definitely. I mean, and, and when you say with the fans and the artists being able to, to, to get closer in touch, can, can fans reach out and contact the artists via the app as well through FanPass or? Yes, there's all there there's various to... different, there's various different forms of communication built into the app and we're working on some one-on-one -on -one, uh, meet and greet opportunities via you know, live stream and, and things of that nature. So there'll be more mm -hmm. to come in that regard, Chris. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So I'll stop the sharing of the app now. That was a, <laughs> that's, that's good. You don't want to that. lose too much focus on our conversation, I guess, right? <laughs> well, it's not just that, it's how I was getting distracted because looking through all the pins <laughs> and it's going like, <laughs> I think I know those names. Oh, wow. I'll have to follow down, that. down the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a fantastic concept that you've got. Where do you hope to take it in the future? Obviously, we got where we are where we are now. So, uh, where do, where do, where do you want to take it for the future? You know, our goal is to really build tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of indie artists. Mm -hmm. Continue to bring artists at a higher level. Maybe maybe not a J Lo, but we have worked with 
you know, others in the past from Megan Trainer to J-Lo to Fetty Wap and others that mm-hmm. have millions upon millions of fans. Having a performer of that caliber with a fan base of tens of millions obviously brings exposure to the indie artist community. So as we continue to grow, we want to pepper in live performances with those A and B list artists so that mm-hmm. they can bring these, these mini explosive opportunities of fans coming to the site and discovering these indie artists and thereby helping them build their fan base, earn more revenue, have more tickets sold to their performance, so on and so forth. And we want to start extending the platform in various different ways. We'd also like to extend the live stage. You know, there's Mm -hmm. plenty of, we've got San Francisco and Santa Cruz and local venues here in California, whereby an indie band or an artist may be performing at the Warfield in San Francisco and they sell out the show like that. Why not extend the stage with a virtual ticket and have that performance at the Warfield streamed live on FanPass, have the artist let their fans know it might be sold out live, but you've got me in the palm of your hand. Log into FanPass, download the app. Let's extend the stage. It's another opportunity for the venue to open mm-hmm. up a revenue stream that they would have otherwise lost. So they make additional revenue on a virtual ticket. And it gives the fan an opportunity to participate. It also brings in more revenue for the band because they're not limited to ticket sales. Yeah, yeah, ex- exactly. Um, and that's like there's loads of concerts, like you say, all like, well, <laughs> always happening. So to, to be able to have that, right. and like you say, just have a virtual, vir- in, rather if you can't make it physically, like I say, because I'd love to be able to go and see a lot of concerts in Nashville or even in New York or LA. There's, right, uh, right. Um, it's all down for me for that. I've been able to afford to get out there. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for, people who, for people in that position to be able to go into fan pass and then like you say to subscribe get a, get a ticket online and you can still be part of that atmosphere as well of that whole of that whole area and it's just that it just it really does that. I'm, I'm i'm one i'm i'm one over on this is i think it's a fantastic concept uh and i good i'm, I'm, I'm glad it makes sense <laughs> it resonates with you perfect <clears throat> no it's great and uh, i mean i work for I can't really say that online. I'll have to tell you off air on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, is there anything else if you want to sort of wrap this up? Is there anything you'd like to say to people who watch and listen to anything further about Fan Pass that you want to pass across to people before we stop the recording? I can't think of anything specifically. I'd just like to thank everybody for kind of welcoming our brand, our app, our platform to the artist community because we have been well received. We have a lot of artists that continue to praise our our personal touch when it comes to working with an artist and onboarding them and making ensuring their success you know we're not we're not sending out automated bots and auto respond emails we're really trying to learn from the community and figure out how to do better every day every week every month and now every year i mean we've been in business for uh oh, over a year now things have uh really expanded and, and grown beyond our uh, our expectations. And we're looking forward to an amazing 2022 and really exploding our base of artists and getting more content on the app for the fans. 